Osman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about uh, uh, sign and unsigned data types. We have seen that the signed data types usually take uh, values of positive and negative values while the unsigned data types only take the positive value. Today, we are going to answer a question, what are the C operators? And in to take into that particular journey, we are going basically to talk uh, what is the definition of C operator, classification, and also we are going to see the implementation of C operators. So let's start and see what is the operators in C programming. Basically, uh, what we say, it is very simple. The operators in C, they are actually symbols. They are symbols. And these particular symbols, they are used to perform, they are used to perform a mathematical And logical operators. They are used to perform mathematical and logical operators. So basically, all what you call variables or values. So, and this uh, uh, values uh, or variables, they are what you call the operand. So in brief, when we're talking about the operators, they are just symbols or mathematical symbols, which they are used by C compiler to do some mathematical and logical computation onto operands. So basically that's what they are. Let's see the classification of these operands. So the operators, they are classified basically into three so we have got their classification into three of them we have the first one called the unary operator the unary operator they work on only one operand and basically they an example of them they take an example like the incrementer and the decrementer the second part of it, they are what you call the binary operators. And the binary operator, basically, they are divided into five types. We have type number one, the arithmetic operator. The arithmetic operators, they take the usual uh, Mathematical, uh, 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 mathematical operators of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. Then the second one, we have what you call relational operators. The relational operators, they take symbols like less than, less than equal sign, uh, greater than, greater than equals, and then equals, and not equal. The third type, it is what you call the logical operators. The logical operator, basically the text symbols like an, symbols like or, and symbols like not. And the fourth type is what you call the bitwise operator. The bitwise operator, they take several symbols, including the AND, which is a single AND, including the OR, the input operator, output operator, the caret, the rest. And then the fifth one, or the last one, is what you call up uh, the assignment operator. The assignment operator they take up symbols like 
equal not equal not 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 equal it is plus equal minus equal and then we have multiplication equals so that is what we have under the binary qualification further classify into arithmetic rational logic bit was that assignment operator and the last one is what we call it is the ternary operator the ternary operator basically does got only one type and this particular type is what you call conditional operator and the conditional operators takes the sign question mark and the full colon so basically uh, uh, this is the classification of the operators so let's see if you can implement this particular operators and see into dev C++ here we are declaring a variable three uh, four variables one called a and we have got a value of 10 another one B value of 20 another one C a value of 30 and then we have result 1 and result 2 basically we are assigning this is an assignment operator the result 1 and we are using up both the relational and logical operator whereby we are saying a is not equal to b which is very true you can see that a is 10 and b it is 20 and we are saying c is equal to 30 so this is also true so if this is true we are supposed to return the value of 1 supposed to send the value of 1 and uh, true we are returning up the value of 1 so the second result here we are saying a it is greater than b which is not true or we are using up the all operator c is greater than 30 which is also false so both of them they are false so we are supposed here to return if it is false a value of zero so those are the values we're supposed to return when we execute this particular program let's execute this particular program yes you can see here the result they say the result one it is returned true because it give up the value of one and the result two is uh, uh, give up the uh, the result uh, zero which it means it is false so in our next lesson we are going to take uh, the unary operator and actually go into details how we can implement and then in the future lesson we are going to talk about binary operators and ternary operator thank you for listening and don't forget uh, uh, to subscribe in the link below thank you bye